Hello and welcome back to my Drill Design Studio. Today we're going to talk about the production sheet. The production sheet is your friend and how you can use it to organize your information so that you can maximize your time in Pyware. Let's get started. All right, we are here in Pyware looking at the production sheet and how to make the production sheet your friend. A while back in Pyware when I was writing I used to use text boxes here in the corner to display information and I found that as the years have gone by I've gotten rid of text boxes on the drill because I was having trouble with them uh, having to update the info. If I updated one page it didn't update the rest and you had to wait to the end to put the pages in and, and I, I found that it was very inefficient and also took up a lot of the page and sometimes it was hard to when you have big bands like this one this is the University of Michigan one of the shows I did for them um, you actually the text box gets in the way of the drill part of uh, my refined process that I found that's been better is using the production sheet and it's just helped immensely in staying organized and displaying the information. Let, let me show you a few things. Now uh, here utilities production sheet it's actually the thing now in my workflow that I do first. I used to uh, do it last where I would enter in a lot of information um, but what I do now is I do uh, after I enter my page tabs in the bottom and, and usually um, sync the music to the, to the tabs. I put all my info in the production sheet because it really helps me. It creates the counts and transitions for me and then I have to add the measures, uh, a title if I want, and then my notes. And I'll show you uh, how to do this a couple different ways. Now you can see here, I, I usually go through first and I put my measures in. And what's great is as you click on the, on the page, uh, pages, it actually scrolls through the drill. Now this was a medley for the University of Michigan, so uh, they have a couple different tunes in here. And so when it's supposed to switch to the new tune, I add that as in, in the title. So uh, I also use the title spot for uh, rehearsal markings, letter A, letter B, letter C. And it really helps for the uh, directors to just stay organized. And that will also show if you choose to on their coordinate sheets. Then of course the notes here are for the director to properly you know, give them the right info if there's a curved path or if, if something repeats or uh, there's a visual you want to add, add a sway or horn move. Um, or if somebody's supposed to take you know, a, a curved path or you know, like here, these folks would need to march straight across the field uh, marching forwards. If the question was should we march this forwards or backwards, that information is displayed properly. And what's great about the production sheet to me is that when you go to print and you print these charts, and I always do print charts, I don't, I don't hit print, I always hit print charts, you can go production sheet notes and you can add that first box at the bottom, add the set title and measures, and all of this will appear in the bottom part of the drill chart that would usually be blank anyway. So all of the information is here at the bottom. And I find that it looks much better. You can have a full page uh, of the drill going uh, up here. You don't have any text boxes getting in the way of the drill and everything is at the bottom. Everything that you add is there. And there's your title when they change to a new tune, their measures, their counts, and all their information. So to me, the production sheet is your friend and it is one of the best tools that you can use to stay organized as you write and to make sure that you properly display information for your clients or for your kids. Let me also show you one more thing before the end. Under print coordinates, yep save the drill, print coordinates you can add some of those things here. Print set numbers, measures, print the set title, that's where we were putting those um, rehearsal letters. And that will help to make sure that the kids get the proper information on their coordinate card. And that can really help them as they learn to stay organized. Well, here's where we are in the music, letter A or letter B. Um, and that'll give them you know, even better information. Little pro tip, if you're on a Mac, make sure that you use this save as a PDF function. 
sometimes when you do print preview, if you want to use the built-in Mac uh, PDF creator where you print the PDF, sometimes it freezes up your software. Um, so I always go back after checking my coordinate cards. This is a big file, so it's taking a second. But don't go to here, hit print, and then do print to PDF. I find that that doesn't work quite as well as it does if you just close that out and then use save as a PDF. I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you. I hope you use your production sheet and, and uh, use that to stay organized and to create files that are clear and easy for everyone to read and learn. Stay tuned to my channel for more tutorials. If you like this one, please like and subscribe at the bottom.